Hey there everyone, it is Waza here and today I'm going to be talking about how you can come up with keyword ideas to write topics on your blog or on your website and um, we're going to be using some really cool free tools and I'm going to show you where to get them, how to use them and just some things that you might want to use to think outside the box um, when trying to come up with article ideas because I know a lot of people struggle with this um, it's, you know, like coming up with new content for your website can be very frustrating and annoying so hopefully this video helps you uh, I do recommend watching to the end I'll try and help as much as possible but uh, what do we got here I'll just get out of that for a sec um, first before I get into this video I want to say a really big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel we just hit 4,000 subscribers so just go to YouTube and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed if you are not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing Thank I do drop um, as much value as I possibly can all for free I'm not trying to sell you a course or anything like that uh, but yeah I will be trying to upload more videos that will hopefully help you but 4,000 might not be a lot of subscribers, but I appreciate every single one of you. And to me, that is an amazing number. Uh, I don't do much on YouTube at all, so for me to be hitting 4,000, that's, that's amazing. So thank you, everyone. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. All right, with that out of the way, uh, we're just going to be looking at some free tools that you can use to uh, generate keyword ideas, come up with blog topics, and things like that. So the first one is if you go to the, you've got to be using Chrome for this, uh, if you go to the Chrome Web Store and just type in keyword surfer and you'll come up with one that's from Surfer SEO, uh, just install keyword surfer and then log in uh, using your Gmail or whatever uh, and yeah it, it'll install on your browser and when you do that it's kind of like the Keywords Everywhere tool. See, Keywords Everywhere tool uh, became a premium tool. You have to pay for that now. Uh, it's still a really good tool. But if you want some, if you want one for free that does pretty much exactly the same thing, it gives you a little bit more data actually. Um, Keyword Surfer by Keyword S uh, Surfer SEO is an amazing tool. Uh, so, for example, if we wanted to let's do the dog training one because everyone lo loves dog training. Um, how to stop dog from barking and we do a search for that we'll now get some information up here from surfer SEO, uh, SEO from the keyword extension and it'll tell you how many global searches and how many searches in your location that that keyword gets per month and then over here we've got some similar keyword ideas so we can start looking at other different keyword ideas uh, also, uh, we've got some backlinks and visibility correlations. Uh, you know, this might be for advanced users, but the, the main thing is you're trying to come up with topic ideas and just look to see whether they have much search volume. Now, <clears throat> with any type of keyword tool, they're not always going to be perfect, they're not always going to be spot on. They will give you a bit of an idea of what type of search volume they, you're going to get. For example, <clears throat> um, how to stop dog barking out the window now it says zero I've actually written content for keywords that say zero in a lot of these different tools and that keyword has then driven hundreds of visitors sometimes per day to my website and to the page that I've, I've created the content for so that's just something to think about like I've, I've done it multiple times now if it makes sense so how to stop dog at parking at a window, that might be something that you're thinking, hang on, I, I know a lot of people are probably going to be searching for that um, and that would be something that I want to learn because maybe your dog's always barking at the door or barking at the window because people are walking past or something. Um, I would write an article for that, even knowing it says zero for it because one, that's going to help your visitors because there are going to be people out there that are going to be searching for that type of stuff and these type of things, because not many people are going to be writing content for because they think that this is going to be a useless keyword, 
these are going to be very easy to rank for. So if we just click on that, um, straight up we've got a YouTube video. Now if I put this in uh, quotes or brackets like that, it's going to show me the exact amount of results that people are t you know, using this in their title, in their dis like meta to title tag, um, and targeting that exact keyword. And up here we've got about a hundred results. So that's a keyword that you could write content for and you'll probably rank very easily because there's only a hundred results. And if you optimize that page and just have how to stop dog barking at the window as your H1, mention a couple of times within your content, maybe put it in the um, one of your headings, uh, like a H3 or H2, different variations of that, make sure that page is on uh, topic and it is highly relevant towards this and, and more importantly it makes sure it answers the question you're not just writing content because you're just trying to rank for that keyword you want to actually help your readers and your visitors that are landing on your page um, it's a motorbike going past at the moment but make sure that content that you've written is one it's optimized for the search engines and two more importantly it's optimized for your reader and you want to give them a good ex user experience because the longer they land like stay on your page the more chances you're going to rank higher and higher um, so as you can see there's only about 100 results um, some of these are YouTube videos so this would be something that would probably be easy to to rank for and you know because there's only a hundred results you could probably get on page one pretty quickly again there's probably not going to be a heap of people searching for it but if you can get you know 10 20 30 people landing on this you know every day or every week even that's still 10 20 30 50 people coming to your site that you would not have got if you didn't write that article and this might be a really you know serious pain for people because they might be getting noise complaints they might be getting uh, people banging on their door saying can you tell your dog to shut up or you might the, the person that owns the dog might be getting sick of listening to their dog all the time or you know it, it could be an embarrassing thing when they've got guests over um, it, you know their dog's always barking so that might be a serious pain and if you can find a product to promote as an affiliate you can then you know, sell that product within your article and recommend it as a, an amazing guide or you know, online training or online course or something like that. So that's something to think about with these ones that say zero. And another thing too, um, if, if these search tools show zero, that could be because it's a trending topic. There might not be enough like data uh, from the previous months to show because a lot of these tools feed off Google's Keyword Planner tool and they sort of feed off previous months. So if this is a new topic, maybe someone's, maybe a celebrity's mentioned it uh, or something like that or it's been in the news and it's a type of topic that is just starting to go viral. These are all going to say zero and I've actually done this uh, by searching like uh, Google Trends, which is another tool you should be using. So we'll just quickly have a look at that. So just type in Google Trends into Google. And you can like if, you can literally search for different topic ideas, just put different seed words in here, and you can find topics that are starting to trend. And if you jump on those really quickly, uh, you know, like whether it might be a new product that a celebrity just released or you've seen say for example Kim Kardashian whenever she releases something you know products seem to uh, get sold out really quickly if you jump on these things while they're trending you can get tons and tons of visitors to your site very quickly and because there's not going to be much competition like if you jump on it early you can rank those keywords pretty quickly and you know you might not stay there forever but if you can jump on it while it's trending and get all those visitors while everyone's sort of searching for it, that's another way of getting amazing you know, uh, floods of traffic. And a lot of the time if you're recommending a product, especially if a, if a celebrity's just endorsed it or something, a lot of the time those products are going to be hot and they're going to sell like hot cakes too. So 
Uh, that's something else to think about. So you could just put your keyword in here. Maybe like I just use this for an example. Um, it might not show anything, but let's just have a look, see if it, um, what Google Trends says. Yeah, not enough data. That again doesn't mean that people aren't searching for it. Uh, so let's just have a look at how to stop barking. So as you can see, it's consistent, like it's always something that people are searching for. And then down here, we've got related queries that we can have a look at. And sometimes this will say like breakout or you know uh, breakthrough or whatever it is. Uh, let's have a look at the top. So if you just click that little down arrow there, um, you can get different keyword ideas and what people are sort of searching for that are related. And you can, you know, you might not want to write about the exact phrase, how to stop a dog from barking. You might find one in here, how to train dogs to stop barking. Uh, that might be something different that you want to go for. But these are different search queries that you could be looking at. How to stop my dog from barking at other dogs. So that's something that people are going to search. Um, and if we actually look at that, and let's just copy that, we'll put it into Google and we'll see how many searches that gets from um, Surfer SEO. It says zero, maybe it's because it's in the brackets there. Shouldn't matter, I don't think. So it's like 580 global searches. So that's an indicator of roughly how many people are searching for that per month. There could be five, 6,000 people searching for that in depending on what type of month it is as well. And if you write a really good article on how to stop my dog from barking at other dogs, for example, and that article has different keywords within it, and the, you know, like you'll start ranking for related keywords within that article, and that'll drive more traffic from those type of keywords as well. So that one article, just because you've written it and you've only seen 580 there, doesn't mean that's the total amount of um, you know monthly visitors that you could potentially reach because you will rank for other related keyword terms within that article if you optimize it correctly. So again, let's just put that in um, quotes. So there's 2,470, another fairly easy keyword to sort of go after. I, I, if I was in the dog niche, I'd go after this um, because that would be a pain that people are going through. And if you can convince them to buy a product, because there's plenty of products on ClickBank, for example, on how to train your dog, get them to buy that product or recommend it and say that, you know, this has helped me immensely and it's, you know, my dog used to bark all the time and try and fight other dogs. But ever since I've followed the instructions in, let's say, for example, Doggy Dan, they have a, a dog training uh, course. Ever since following Doggy Dan's uh, online dog trainer, my dog, I can walk up the street and it won't even flinch at other dogs. Or uh, when other dogs walk past my house now, there's no dogs barking because my dog is just sitting there and it's a good boy or a good girl. Um, yeah, it's, it's that type of thought that you need to be thinking as well. And you wanna be making sure the content that you put on your site actually helps people. So think about that as well. All right, so that's another thing, like Surfer SEO, the, the new Chrome, jump on it while it's free. Highly recommend doing that. And again, you'll get all these related searches, you'll get different information here. Um, because we've got it installed, it's also showing the type of um, traffic that page is getting. So let's have a look here. Domain estimated traffic, it's getting about 15, uh, 14 point, uh, 15 point four million searches per uh, visitors per month, and that's Quora, and that's you know a big site, and it, it's definitely generating a lot of visitors. Um, and then it's going to tell you here the domain quality as well, and how many backlinks it has. So if you see, um, you know, some of these some of these websites too might not be properly optimized for that keyword, so it. It does make sense to make a good quality article and try and rank it and then send some backlinks later on down the track. You might even rank without any backlinks, uh, especially if it's fairly competitive. Now, when 
looking at the results, like how many results, a good indicator of how um, easy it's going to be for you, like without looking at other keyword tools or metrics and things like that. Generally, if it's under 10,000 or under 100,000, like, um, you know, it, get, once it's over the 10,000 mark, it sort of starts getting harder and harder. Over 100,000, it's really hard sort of thing. But if you can get results like 2,000, uh, if, when people are writing like articles for this and they haven't optimized it in their title tag, for example, and there's only 2,000 and something results, this is a good one to go after if you can optimize it for search engines and for your users because a lot of people aren't optimizing it. So there's only 2,000 sites out there with that in its title. And a lot of those might be duplicates, or it might be videos and things like that. If you put a good quality article up, you'll probably rank for it. Um, so yeah, that's the Surfer SEO keyword tool. Just go to the Chrome Web Store, install that, and you'll be good to go, and you'll get all this different information here. Um, you can sign up for their, um, their premium version, which will get more uh, related searches and things like that, and more data. But if you're just getting started, this is something that you could definitely you know, use to your advantage. Uh, another one is, and by the way, Brendan Hartley showed me this tool, like he shared this with me uh, about two weeks ago. Um, previously, I was using keywords everywhere, but um, this is now probably my go-to uh, Chrome extension for this type of stuff. Uh, so shout out to him for uh, sh like sharing that with me. Uh, another one is Answer the Public, and a lot of people probably know this one. And I'll give you some really good tips in a minute if you keep watching. So um, keep watching to the end. So just type in answerthepublic.com, and here we can, you know, type in some seed words and see what people are actually asking and what, what they're searching for. So maybe we put in again with the dog training. Uh, dog barking. So we'll just put in something really broad. It's a pretty cool landing page too here. This guy here looks pretty serious. <laughs> and this is just going to give us a bunch of different questions that are being asked on the web and things that you can, like ideas that you can use for your articles. So as you can see there's like a, might be a bit hard for you to read but um, this wheel or this circle of different questions it's sort of funneling out from uh, the, the main keyword that I typed in, so dog barking. So now we've got when. So when is dog barking considered a nuisance in the UK? So that these type of things, these type of questions are awesome for you to start writing content for. That might be something that's going to really, really help your visitors uh, and it's a really niche sort of topic and it's probably not very competitive because it's a long tail keyword. Um, it's, you know, one, two, three, it's probably about four or five keywords long. Um, and it's targeting uh, a country sort of thing. So if you write good quality content and answer that question within that article, that's going to help your visitors. If you rank for that, you know, like you'll get those visitors um, as well. And that's traffic and potential traffic that you can convert into sales. Um, so again, another one of these whens. So when is dog barking a problem? So this could be one big article that you could write. Maybe it's targeted toward like a geo-targeted um, uh, article that's geared towards a specific country or specific city or something like that, um, or different cities within that country that you want to target. And write a big long article and you'll rank for that and yeah it'll bring, potentially bring in a lot of visitors and again if say we put that in didn't copy it all but say we put this into Google oh, I forgot the K at the end it's probably going to show zero oh no it's got some global searches there it's because I'm in Australia it's showing zero for me because why would people be asking that in the UK and Australia? Um, you know, that is something that you could write an article for. And let's just put that in quotations again. And look at that. There's two results. 
with people that have that in the um, meta title. So that could be something that you could optimize an article for, write a good page for, and you could get that potential 300 and something visitors per month. And again, that's probably not the correct amount. There might be a lot more people searching for that. Um, so that's something that you could be thinking of. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. And you can actually switch this if you don't like looking at this circle here because you could be going like this all the time. <laughs> uh, you can just simply do it like this and just click this data tab. Um, so we've got the R, so R dog barking collars safe. So these, that, that could be a, an article that you could be targeting people that are worried about their dog or worried about their animal or whatever it is. Um, is it safe? You know, will it give them a rash or all that? These type of questions and answers that you could be giving them in your article, this, you could create a, um, a notepad maybe and write down all these different questions and then just answer them in one big article. So you could have like a, a short introduction and then a bunch of questions and answers where like you just copy these questions here uh, and put them in your article and then just go and answer those questions in, in a way that's gonna help your visitors. And over time, like, you know, it might take you two hours to write an article, but that could be like a 2,000, 3,000 word article if you do about 10, 15 different questions and answers. So that's something to think about. Uh, so we've got the how, how dog barking sounds. That's something I probably wouldn't write an article for. How to stop a dog barking in the car. Another thing, you know, like that's, that could be a pain for people. It might be embarrassing for them when they're driving in the car or they like taking their car, dog in the car. Um, so you've got all these different how type keywords that are related. Where dogs were, oh, were, dogs were barking. Dogs were barking. Uh, where to report dog barking. So that might be another thing that you might want to write an article for or add to an article. If you're sick of someone's dog that is um, barking all the time, that might be something that people want to learn about. Uh, so that's another thing that Answer the Public is really good for. You just put in your seed keyword. So if we go back, uh, it might be, let's have a look at maybe weight loss. So it's just going to collect as much keywords and data as possible while it's loading. And again, we've got this wheel, and if you want to sort by to each column like this, you just click that data tab. And then here, like, are weight loss injections safe? Are weight loss teas safe? Um, can weight loss cause dizziness? All these type of things that you could be including in a big article uh, around weight loss. Uh, it doesn't matter what type of topic it is, you just put in a seed keyword around your niche and you can come up with keyword ideas like this. Um, and then again, like you could put it into a tool, like another keyword tool that we'll talk about is Uber Suggest. And you just type in Uber Suggest and it's Neil Patel's um, tool. And it's one that um, he's acquired from another company and just sort of tweaked it to his likings. Um, so maybe we'll just grab this part of this keyword here. And the other good thing about Neil's tool is it's free. I'm not going to worry about signing in. You can, it will say to sign in to get more data. So as you can see, it's saying about 20 searches per month. SEO difficulty, this is something that you might want to look at when writing your content to make sure it's easy to rank for. His score, um, you know, it might not be perfect. It's just going to give you a suggestion. His score is a nine, which is easy. So that could be something that you might want to, if you're in the dog niche right now, that might be a good article to write for. Um, and you'll, you know, you'll rank for other keywords as well within that article if you optimize it correctly. Um, yeah, so the difficulty for that, uh, then there's paid difficulty, cost per click, etc. But we could also narrow down and get some keyword ideas from that. So if you click the keyword ideas tab, um, if you're signed in, I'm not going to worry about signing in, you'll get more. Um, but this is going to give you some other uh, different variations on how much volume that's going to get. I mean, this one's not the biggest search volume thing, but again, that can be wrong. 
Um, maybe if we want to look at the competition, we can have a look what's ranking. So if we click on dailypuppy.com, it's going to give us um, some information about that website. So this is another good good tool to use. It's for free, and we can use this to, to get ideas for keyword rich topic ideas. So uh, Neil's tool is saying that daily puppy gets around 91,000 visitors per month. Organic monthly traffic is 54,000. Domain school is pretty high and they've got a lot of backlinks. So if we scroll down the bottom here, it's going to give us some SEO keyword ideas. And if we click on this button, it's going to show us more ideas. Or if we look at their top ranking pages or their top traffic sources, we can click on that so if we click on here, oh, that's going to take us to the site, sorry. So we can also have a look at their, their site, like the, your competition is site, just by clicking on it. Or you can have a look and view other, like what keywords that top page is actually ranking for. Hopefully it works. Sometimes it gets stuck and it doesn't load. But we'll let it sit there for a while. But the other option was to simply click on the... Um, to get more keywords or ideas. Sometimes it does get stuck on here, which is a bit clunky for me. I'm not sure that happens for everybody, but a lot of the time, either that or I'm just impatient and don't like waiting for it to gather all the keywords for that page. But what I'm gonna do is like, a, it normally brings up a list of different keywords for that one page. And you can have a look at those keywords and look at um, for different uh, keyword ideas for that, you know, what they're ranking for. Um, but I'm going to go back here and then we'll just click on all keywords for this domain name. Again, it's not going to show me all because I didn't sign in and it is free to sign in. Um, I'm just too lazy to do it. Okay, so it's giving me a bunch of different keyword ideas now and see how it's blurred out all these ones here. Uh, that's because I'm not signed in. So as you can see, there's some green and this SD is the SEO difficulties uh, tab. So Anything that's in green is relatively easy to rank for according to his tool. Um, it might be right, it might be wrong. But that's dog signs of labor. That might be a keyword that you want to um, write an article for uh, when a dog's pregnant. So uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people searching for that type of stuff. But yeah, you can go through here and you can, again, just keep clicking through different sites. Um, maybe if you go Jeff Pitbull home. We can have a look at the type of keywords they're ranking for and just continuously narrow down and write down ideas and have a look at the different type of keywords that they're ranking for. All right, I'm gonna show you one more way um, that you can get keyword ideas for free and we might even use this site here. Let's just have a look at it. I know a lot of, if a, if a website's using WordPress or, or things like that, this works pretty easily, um, but Let's just have a look. If we go up here to the address bar and just type slash sitemap.xml, um, this site doesn't have many pages, but they've, they've probably got more pages in their blog. Um, sometimes it'll give you a better list. This is more like a, um, an old style XML uh, sitemap. So let's just have a look at another one. And you can, you can do this just by searching stuff in as well. Um, let's have a look at the one, that Daily Puppy. So this one would probably have a bunch of articles that we can have a look at. So we type slash sitemap.xml. Let's just have a look. Again, it's not really... Oh, hang on. If we put... If we just copy this, I'll show you another example soon. So now we've got a list of all their different articles that they've got. So we can have a look at these different pages. Looks like this is a HTML site. How to prevent bloat in dogs. So that might be another topic that you can write about. And you can just get ideas off. They don't copy other people, but get ideas from their content and see how they're ranking. Uh, maybe if we type in um, dog training and if we go to 
tip, sit, drop, stay. Let's just type in sitemap. I'll see if I can get one that I want to show you. Oh, here we go. So this one's using a SEO Yoast WordPress plugin. Um, this is an easier way to find their pages. So if we go to the sitemap here and sitemap post sitemap, all the time it's going to show you their, their post that they've got. So this, pay, this website's got 44 different articles on their site and um, they probably get some good traffic. We'll have a look at that very soon. But if we have a look at their, um, the pages that they've written, we can get ideas for our website. So keeping your dog cool in summer. Let's have a look at that article. So this might be something that you want to write an article for, for your website. And we can have a look at that. It's not a very long... Um, uh, article if they were ranking number one for this topic and you know like if we put in let's just have a look they might not be ranking for much put that into Neil's um, uber suggest see their position three dog whisperer meaning so that might be an article that you know that's potentially bringing 25 visitors to their site so it's not a high traffic site um, for example, if this was that puppy, uh, daily puppy, uh, pit bull pups, you know, that's something I probably wouldn't worry about writing an article for, installation for dog house. So that might be something that you might write an article for that could be, you know, like if it was green and it was easy to rank for um, and you found that in their site map, that could be something that you might write an article for or around. So it's just a, another handy, free way of coming up with blog ideas. Um, even if you're not so much worried about trying to rank it in Google, maybe you're just trying to write content for your email subscribers or if you're looking for ideas to help people, um, things like that. How to stop your dog chewing, that's, a, that's another one. Eight tips to help you raise and train your new puppy. You know, these are blog ideas that you could be gathering for your blog and then write more and more content for. But again, you can always put these in to, uh, so let's just have a look. And again, this might be a seasonal keyword because it's um, got summer in it. Uh, let's just put this in here, get rid of this UK. About 11,000 results for, for that. So there's probably a bit of competition. Um, let's have a look, see what this keyword tool is saying for the search volume. Again, only 350, but like I said before, so you look, cooling mats for dogs, that could be another idea. You could be doing best, you could do an article, best cooling mats for dogs, and then just do a listicle and try and rank for cooling mats for dogs, which gets a good search volume. All these different keyword ideas, there's plenty of ideas that you can come up with to write content for your blog. Again, we'll just go over the list real quick. We've got Keyword Surfer by uh, Surfer SEO. Um, then you can just use Google and use that method that I showed you. Uh, Google Trends, that's another way of uh, coming up with ideas. So let's just put in another, stop my dog from barking. And of course, you just put in your niche and ideas like seed keywords into here, and you can see it comes up with different topics if you click on that. And it tells you how, how much it's trending, and you can have a look at the graph of that as well. You might want to sift through how many years or um, the past 30 days, for example. So it's sort of up and down a bit. Answer the public is another great tool. Um, I remember ages ago, if you had keywords everywhere installed, it would automatically put the search volume next to each one of these. Uh, I think it was, that's how it worked. But um, these days you might have to do a little bit more digging and you know copy pasting and stuff like that. And then we've got Uber Suggest and you can get keyword IDs off of this and it also give you a bit of a score whether you're going to be able to rank for it fairly easily or not. Now, if you do come across these ones that say it's difficult, so say for example if I click on this one here, 
Oh, actually, no, that's if I did, if I just copy and paste it. So if, for example, it tells us that this, the difficulty is 58, there's a big search volume for it, uh, cost per click and things like that. Now, just because it is difficult to rank for, it doesn't mean that you should not write an article for it. Because over time, and if you've written a really good article or your content's amazing, over time, and you acquire backlinks, whether that be by building backlinks yourself or organically and you know social signals and all that good stuff, over time, your page could rank and become a bit of an authority on the web and you can get masses of traffic just for that. So don't always just focus on easy keywords. It, they are much easier to rank for and they can bring in a trickle of traffic, but don't forget about the, you know, the difficult ones as well especially if they're going to help your users because if they help your users then you, if you get those people onto the those articles and they linger around there's a good chance that you might rank eventually so i hope you like this video smash the like the that like button subscribe to my channel thank you so much everyone who has subscribed to me 4000 is a, is an amazing number for me thank you so much i'll be releasing more videos very soon so if you do subscribe you'll get notified of that um, also, don't forget to check out my blog, amninjas.com. I'm also working on some really cool stuff. And if you're not in my Facebook group, it's Affiliate Marketing Ninjas, and I'll leave links in the description for that as well. We're over 34,000 members now, which is amazing. Lots of really cool stuff happening in there. And it's a group where you can ask any type of question. It's actually, the, the only silly question is the one that you don't ask. So if you're struggling, Feel free to ask questions and someone will help if I don't. All right, thanks. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.